In March, Fox 5 told you how the Fulton County Jail had 13 inmates diagnosed with COVID-19. Now the jail is undergoing an extensive and expensive deep cleaning. Jail commanders hope to eliminate all traces of the virus, as senior IT team reporter Dale Russell shows you in this report. The scene at the Fulton County Jail looks like ground zero at a nuclear waste site, but it's only a deep clean effort to rid the jail of the COVID-19 virus. We don't want to see anyone get sick. We don't want to see anyone suffer. We talked to Colonel Mark Adger back in March when Fulton County Jail had its first COVID-19 case. Within days, that one case turned into 13 inmates. Some recovered, others got sick. So this week, the jail turned to CRM, an emergency cleaning company that took high-tech electrostatic sprayers dousing high traffic areas with EPA-approved disinfectant. Just keeping a safe and healthy environment for everyone to live in. Inmates are kept outside in the yard while CRM crews clean half of the jail. Colonel Ladger says his staff will handle the rest an expensive lesson learned in the war on COVID-19. It caught a lot of us off guard and we can't afford to be caught off guard. The price tag for that deep clean, $234,000. But Sheriff Ted Jackson hopes to apply for federal funds to help pay the price. Dale Russell, Fox 5 News. DeKalb County has now released more than 100 inmates from its jail. Sheriff Melody Maddox reportedly authorized the release of 103 inmates on signature bonds from March 18th through April the 9th. The people who were released are all nonviolent offenders. The county is working to limit the spread of the coronavirus by keeping the inmate population down.